Hey guys, it's Tinker Taylor here today, bringing you day uh, 18 of the A to Z challenge. I cannot believe we're up to day 18 already. Um, that's kind of ridiculous, and uh, yeah, like I can't believe we're actually at this day already. Um, kind of sad, because I think we only have nine more builds to go. I'll be real, I'm still doing tomorrow's build. It's going to be very detailed. I am going to have to cut out a lot of stuff. Um... But I'm super excited to get it done, get it out there, and to share it with you guys. Uh, but yeah, today we did a rocket launch pad. So this is inspired by one and only Witching Mermaid, or Kitty if you know her. Um, so she did this really cool rocket dollhouse. Um, and I decided to do a rocket launch pad. Kind of like NASA. Um, which the building... The building, sorry. And it takes inspiration from NASA. Um, the Houston... I don't even know if there is another NASA place. Um, but the one I took inspiration from is in Houston. Uh, I like I said before, I have no idea if there's another NASA place or not. Um, but yeah, that's where I got my inspiration from. So we created, hey we, it was me, on my own, um, created a little um, like viewing platform for like special guests to watch from, um, and then like a little history bit in that same grey box area. Uh, and then there is an outdoor viewing platform. Um, and then, what else? Uh, there's a little like museum slash gift shop inside. I think it's more than more just a gift shop. The museum-y bit is actually underneath the indoor flu viewing platform. Uh, and then, yeah, we have the rest of the um, like the work areas, I guess, um, which was super fun to do. And I don't know, it was just something different and interesting that I've never really done before. I'm not too sure I'm in love with it, but it. I don't hate it. So, you know, progress. Um, so this bit here that we're doing now is the, um, the, the, the control room, I guess. Um, and then I do some, like, little office spaces and, like, a super top secret room. I don't know what would happen in there, but maybe, like, that's where I'll take this super top secret plans go. Um, oh, where they are planned, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, just a bathroom and a cafeteria. Actually, I think there's two bathrooms. A cafeteria and then, like, a coat check-in place or, like, a check-in place for the employees because you have to go through, like, the gift shop to get into it. I didn't really think of how else you could get into it. But, yeah, you can. Um, and something that I actually did in this build was that I didn't fully furnish it at the start. So, uh, I built it over two days again, um, and I didn't fully furnish it. Uh, I just put down all of the basic things that I wanted to put in. And then on the second day, I came in and put all the extra details. I still recorded that just in case, uh, I if I didn't want to, I could just cut out the end bit and that'd be fine. Um, instead of having to go in and cut out all these tiny little micro bits. Um, and I'm doing that with tomorrow's build as well. So I'm kind of just going in and placing the bare minimum items. And then I'm going to go back and do like a second round of um, all of the finer details. So that, because this build's already going to be so big, I can tell you. Um, I'm scared I'm not going to get it done in time. That's how big it is. And yeah, I'm just... Very keen to get it done and dusted. Um, but yeah, this one I was pretty happy with how it ended up. Like I said, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. There are definitely some, some things I could have done to make it better, but I'm not entirely sure what. Um, but yeah, no, I had a lot of fun with this, and I think... I definitely would like to visit here. Um, I mean, personally, I'm never going to visit America just for 
numerous reasons. Um, but if there were other countries that had places like this, I would definitely visit. Um, just because, yeah, it, it's... I, I like education, I like learning. Uh, getting three degrees should probably definitely be an indication of that. Um, which I'm actually so excited to uh, finish that because that finishes this year. Kind of scary, but kind of fun. So, um, yeah. Why don't we... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Um, this is why I don't watch streams or anything like that when I'm normally recording. I normally just put it out of my view, but... Um, it's actually Witching Mermaid's stream anniversary. We're about to finish it, I think. Um, and yeah, it's kind of super fun. Um, yeah, no, I I definitely would like to visit a place like this and like learn about space. I am actually kind of terrified of space. I'm not gonna lie. I think you know when I was a kid, I used to look up at the stars, and if I did, I'd get insanely afraid that I was gonna be just sucked up into space and then would die because I'm not in a spacesuit. Uh, which is such a weird thing to be scared of. Um, <laughs> like, what? Uh, I've got a lot of random weird fears like that, but I kind of just force myself to keep looking at the sky until I slowly stop being scared of it. And like, even now when I get those thoughts, I'm like, has it ever happened? No. Well, let's keep staring. And then when I feel like it's a little too overwhelming, then I will look away, but I, it's not that overwhelming anymore, um, which is great. I can now look at the sky without being terrified. Um, like, looking out of a building or a car, I don't feel as scared. But yeah, just like, sitting and looking at the stars, that terrifies me for some reason. Or did terrify me. It's not as bad. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It would be super fun to not have to stress about that at all in the future, but you know, it just it's a thing that I apparently am scared of or was scared of or in the process of not being scared of. Um But yeah, no learning about space. I used to love going to like the planetarium when I was younger. I didn't go all that often, but I did go a couple of times, and every time I did, I absolutely loved it, and I'd love to go again. Um, so, yeah, I definitely want to do that. Um, but now, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is, this is great. I. <laughs> Every time I get to a point in the video, and you can probably listen to the last maybe 10 videos I say this, but it, I don't know what to talk about anymore, and it's because I just spend all day, well not all day, every day, but like I spend every single day doing a video, and it's like, well, what do I talk about? And now I'm, I don't, I don't know, what do I, what do I talk about? I have no idea. So, yeah, um, I, I still have what, like... 20 minutes left um i guess i'll talk about this part of the build so up here i created some little offices um the one overlooking the control center this like moving around too much um the bit i started decorating first with the two desks in it um that was actually inspired by um uh Oh, what's the show called? Blacklist. Um, uh, just the looking up through the windows and seeing uh, uh, Harold Cooper up there in his little... Like, I know his one has only one desk, but it's also kind of like a mix of um, where Liz and uh, Wrestler work. So it's kind of a mixture of all those three people's workspaces. Uh, and it's kind of really fun to, it's really fun to try and decorate that. So I did just place a whole bunch of junk down and then I go back and properly furnish it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it was an interesting build. I definitely, 
didn't know exactly what I was doing, but I didn't not know what I was doing. Um, it's again, it's some of these builds are just kind of like, I've never really done this before. How do I do this? All right, let's go. Um, and that's kind of, yeah, how we end up with what we've got. Um, now I do put this little kitchen in, but I also put a cafeteria in. So if you want to bring your own lunch, there is a little lunch room, but if you don't want to bring your own lunch, there's a pretty good cafeteria. I've decided that it's a good one because if you have enough money to send rockets to space, then you probably have enough money to have a good cafeteria. Um, I don't like going to places and then like you just eat trash food, even though it's a good establishment. Um, so yes, it's, it's going to be a good place where they serve some really nice healthy options and some really nice medium healthy options. There's no like horrible options. Um, but yeah. Um, it's, oh. Actually, now that I look at this, playing with tool, um, trying to get things to go from one layer to another, I just, I, I need to remember that it doesn't really like doing that. Um, especially if, like, I, I don't want to copy something and then just use the elevate to bring it down, because I don't know if that's going to mean that it's still on the second floor or if it's on the current floor. So I just do it by hand again because it, it was frustrating me um so yeah that's what i did um anyway yeah um just getting distracted over and over again i probably should not surround myself with distractions when i'm recording but uh unfortunately i have um <laughs> so let me have a little look at how many things we have left. So, yeah, we're on the 18th today. We finish on the 26th. I don't think I counted properly. That doesn't equal 9. That equals 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. No, it does equal 9. I forgot to include today. Um, so yes, we have 9 more builds. And I'm super excited for kind of the rest of them. I mean, Y is one that I feel like... I'm either going to do really well or really badly, and I'm super excited for it. Um, same as Zed, I have some pretty cool ideas in my head of what I want to do, but sometimes the cool ideas translating from my head to the game or whatever is, it's just not, it doesn't, it doesn't do the things that I want it to do. Um, but with some of the builds that I have done, the way they have translated to the page, uh, I'm really impressed with it. So maybe, maybe we will do good. Maybe we will have some fun with it. Um, yeah, I'm very excited for that. Um, but I just need to get in and get all these builds done. But it's really hard because I'm sort of losing motivation. I mean, tomorrow's build, I'm really just wanting to give up and hand it to as it is. And it's completely not done at all. I mean, I don't even have the exterior done. So I might go in and do that and then just to have that all nice and neatly done so that if I don't finish the inside, I don't finish the insides. I have got one, two places. Okay, I've got one place I'd say fully done. One place just needs some finer details. And then the third place has like a bunch of random stuff. And definitely is like half done. And I've started on the fourth one. So like I'm, I'm getting there, but it's just... Yeah, I'm, I'm so not motivated to do it. Um, so yeah, that's the goal after today. Record all these videos for today, because I, I technically the short for today and the real for today should have gone up three minutes ago. But um, I'm falling behind a little bit. So I'm going to get in, get that done, smash out the rest of this build, hopefully. Um, and then start on tomorrow's. I'll start on the next build, which if I can finish today, that'd be fantastic because then it'll put me two days ahead. Um, and yeah, I'm just a wee bit stressed about keeping on top of things, uh, but we're still ahead, so that's all that matters. Um, yeah, 
it, it's I'm just gonna take the win when we have it and not be stressed about things that I don't need to be stressed about uh but yeah here we are about to head over from the first day to the second days of building because I hit about this point and when I can't I can't do it anymore um so yes now we're on to the second day of building where my motivation has returned and it's going to be a lot of scrolling at first um of just placing random items down and then we'll we'll fix them up later um we'll be putting them in places that make sense or like decorating it properly i'm just pulling out everything so that it all makes sense um like i know i want to use all of these items and so i do uh so it's a lot of scrolling a lot of placing a lot of nonsense uh but we do eventually get to a point where it starts to actually be decorated so the room i am well was just placing things in um is the little museum space and the yeah this room here is the little museum space and then the room off to the left of it uh, is the kind of gifts gift shop area so the point of it is yeah you can come in you can watch the rocket launch you can go in and buy some gifts and stuff or um sometimes maybe they'll do tours when there's not rocket launch days or like important things happening um and yeah kids can come in and see what it looks like in the launch room in the control room i guess um and maybe even climb like the astronauts tower uh but other than that yeah there's not really much else that you can do here because it's super top secret place um and i don't know it was kind of really really interesting to do a little bit of research into this and um figure out what to do because i honestly was like how how do i get this game to like work with me rather than against me um and so yeah it was quite different um but yeah like i said it's still a lot of scrolling a lot of just i don't even know um but yeah i don't know um actually one thing i can talk about which i completely forgot about um yesterday i found out i might be moving again um so if you've been hanging i, I know i've got some new people because of this challenge but if you've been following me for a little bit you'll know that i move quite a lot um when i started this challenge i was living not this challenge sorry this channel i was living somewhere else i was living with some people um oh that's so super helpful good job no i i was living somewhere and i started this channel and then i moved back to uni because i i because of uh the pandemic i moved off of uni so that i didn't have to deal with living with 10 billion people and then us all getting sick um because it was super strict there like how do you keep the resident uh, residents open and keep everyone apart so like you weren't allowed to hang out and watch movies together um like if you wanted to do that you would all have to go to your own room and like watch it on a device in your room all together um if you really wanted to do that and like cooking everyone had their own cooking times but it was like you only had half an hour to cook and um all this other nonsense and it was stuff that i found out from people who lived there like i who didn't either didn't move off or moved on when i who moved on after i moved off um so yeah it was not the greatest um but then once it all died down and the rules got removed um i moved back and then like uh, i don't know maybe like six months later they told us that it, that particular accommodation was shutting down and so they gave us basically no time i think it was like a month to find somewhere else to live uh, which was so much fun uh, so i ended up moving to a different campus which thankfully I could, um, and I lived in three 
different rooms there. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, four different rooms there. And then I decided to move completely away from uni, uh, like as in a different state to uni. And I've only been here for four months. Uh, I think, I think nearly five months. Um, but yeah, the the house we're in there's um seven there was seven people now there's eight people uh and it's just getting very crowded where we are right now and so we're potentially looking at moving not necessarily guaranteed moving um but if we are it's going to be very soon which is so totally expected for how we move um every time I move it's like you get basically no notice and then you move so I've gotten very good at packing and unpacking very quickly um but it's going to be really frustrating if it is soon because a I've got to finish this challenge uh and b uni doesn't start in too long so like if I'm moving I'd, I'd really like to know as soon as possible um but I don't know if I am and that's the issue so it's just another thing I'm slightly stressed about, um, but I'm not going to stress myself out about it because it's not set in stone yet, um, and it's just something that's maybe going to happen. So yeah, um, if I seem excessively stressed or anything like that um, in future videos, that is probably why, and I'll definitely let you guys know whether or not I am actually moving, but it's it's a it's a definite possibility, and I don't really I, part of me wants to because we definitely are outgrowing this house um and some of the houses that we've looked at um definitely would fit much better um but it also means moving and that's such a hassle and such a frustration and I like I, I haven't even fully gotten unpacked here yet so a little yeah I don't know I think in the end it would be worth just staying here and then I'll move out into my own place with uh, my best friend and maybe a couple other people um because, yeah, it's just the stress of moving a thousand different places before settling down. Like, I don't want to do that. I absolutely do not want to do that. Um, and I kind of like how things are set up here. And, yeah, it would just be so frustrating. So, I don't know. But that that is something that is a possibility. And I just want to let you guys know that so that if... I do go silent or quiet for a little bit. You guys know that um, I'm okay. I'm probably just moving. Uh, which uh, I really hope it's at least when this challenge finishes. Like, give me to the end of this challenge. Because at least then I can pack and get these videos done as well. Um, it's just... Uh, and I threw out all my boxes too. I kept one box. That was it. So I'd have to go out and buy more. Um, which is always not fun. Um, you get boxes and then you throw them away and then you need them again and you don't want to throw them away and by the time you throw them away, you need them again. So, I've just, I don't really want to think about it. Um, it's something that maybe can happen, maybe won't happen, I don't know. Um... And I'm still on the fence about whether or not I want to. So we will find that out in the future. That can be a future me problem. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would inform you all of that because, yeah, that's just another thing that's been added to my plate. And I've just, don't want to stress, but I'm definitely stressing. So um, long story short, could be moving. Don't know if I want to or not. Um, we'll find out in the next. Couldn't even tell you. Probably, 
probably the next two weeks I'll find out whether or not we are. Um, and it's kind of, yeah, anyway, I just, so split on what I want to do. Um, because there's, there's a lot of things that we have to think about, you know, we have a lot of pets here. Um, and do we have enough space for all the pets? Is it safe for all the pets? Um, how do we ensure that it's safe for them if it's not? Um, you know, which place would we actually want to go to? And it's just... Yeah, it's a little frustrating. Um, but anyway. Uh... We are getting close to the end of this build. I've done, I think, everywhere upstairs. I don't think I decorate upstairs any further. Um, but yeah, down here we're doing some, uh, like you can buy some of these space rocks, I guess. Um, and I didn't want to make them too, like, big or anything like that because if they've got the big rocks they're probably going to save them for display and if they've got the little rocks then they probably want them for um those ones that they can sell off but yeah this one was kind of just having things randomly in places and hoping for the best because uh, again my motivation was greatly reducing and i just wanted to get it done um because I also needed to get it done before I started the stream. Which is hopefully what I can do with this one. Get this video done before stream as well. Because it's kind of just shoving things in places everywhere. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I did do another store for the... Oops. I did do another bit for the build tomorrow i always do that i'm like oh i don't want to spoil it i don't want to it's going to be secret and blah 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 and then i totally just say something that totally gives it away um i've done more of tomorrow's build that's all i'm gonna say um than i thought i just keep forgetting that i've done bits and pieces um yeah i've done more i've probably done more than what i think um so hopefully it'll be finished soon i'm gonna go through and just place down a bunch of random things and then finally decorate them uh because i don't want to i don't want to make it like dark or anything like that but yeah i'm getting close to the end of this video so um if you've made it this far you are a hero because uh, <laughs> i don't know how you sit through me rambling about absolutely nonsense um so thank you so much for hanging out and being here um definitely let me know your thoughts feelings and opinions on this challenge and um yeah that's pretty much it so after this challenge i will be returning to my usual tomb day a week schedule i will be yeah two days a week two two videos two shorts a week um and i'm very excited for that so yeah definitely let me know your thoughts feelings and opinions down below if you are new here and you like what you see uh, make sure to subscribe it lets me know that you actually do enjoy it um and to bring out more content like this so yeah i want to say thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully i will see you guys in tomorrow's video bye guys <laughs>